Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new, please consider subscribing. My name is Yari and I make educational videos for beauty professionals in training and for anyone who likes to continue learning. In today's video, we are going to be going over an esthetician stay bore written study guide part number three. Please read your textbook for more information on each subject. Information is not limited to the one shown in this video. If you find the information helpful, don't forget to give it a like. Let me know in the comments down below if you are currently studying for your state board exam. Send the information over to someone who you may believe could find the information helpful. Now let's get started. Number one, how should an esthetician handle an eye infection? The answer is decline service and refer your client to a physician. Number two, are extractions done before or after disincrustation? They are done after disincrustation because the disincrustation solution helps soften the pores, making extractions easier. Number three, what are contraindications for the rotary brush? The answer is, to avoid damaging or further irritating the skin, do not use brush on acne, coporose, fragile, sensitive, or inflamed skin. Number four, what should be applied after a leg wax? You can apply wax removing lotion for the skin and calming products. Number five, during what stage is the hair ready to shed? The answer is during the telogen phase. Number six, how fast should the rotary brush be on someone who has dry skin? The answer is slow, steady rotation using softer bristle brush with fewer passes. Number seven, skin conditions that are contraindications for face waxing are rosacea, acne vulgaris, sunburned skin, inflammation, bruising, pustules or papules on the area to be waxed. Number eight, what is the purpose of the hair papilla? The answer is, it contains the capillaries and nerves located at the base of the follicle that fits into the bulb. Hair papilla are necessary for hair growth and nourishment of the follicle. Number nine, what massage movement is the most stimulating? The answer is tapotement. Number 10, where are the Langerin immune cells found? They are found in the stratum spinosum. Number 11, what causes a verruca, also known as a wart? The answer is, it is caused by a virus and they are contagious. Number 12, what does the Environmental Protection Agency, also known as EPA, do? Well, they register all types of disinfectants sold and used in the United States. Number 13, what is the best tool to blend foundation or concealer? The answer is a sponge. Number 14, what does highlighting do? The answer is it emphasizes a specific area. Number 15, where do you trim an eyelash strip from if the lash band is too long? The answer is from the outside edge the outer part. Number 16, when doing a skin analysis, determining treatment, what device should be used? The answer is the magnifying lamp. Number 17, what can you use to stop minor bleeding from a cut? 
the answer is you can use powdered alum or styptic powder. Number 18. What is the first step in infection control? The answer is cleaning. You must remove all visible dirt and debris from tools, implements, and equipment by washing them with liquid soap or detergent and warm water and using a clean, disinfected brush to scrub the item. That is the first step in infection control. Number 19. What is OSHA responsible for? The answer is Occupational Safety Health Administration, also known as OSHA, was created as part of the U.S. Department of Labor to regulate and enforce safety and health standards to protect employees in the workplace. Number 20. What is the second step of infection control? The second step would be disinfection. Disinfection is the process that eliminates most, but not necessarily all, microorganisms on non-porous surfaces. This is when a registered disinfectant is used. Number 21. Licensed premises should eliminate any strong odor by... The answer is by having adequate ventilation, exhaust fans, and air filtration. Number 22. What can be used if blood comes into contact on a non-porous surface or instrument? The answer is an EPA registered hospital disinfectant or a tuberculocidal disinfectant or a 10% bleach solution can be used. Number 23, a wet disinfectant in which implements are being immersed should be prepared how often? The answer is daily. Number 24, where do you not store cleaning supplies? The answer is in the restroom. The following questions are from the Texas Laws, Rules, and Regulations book. If you are not in Texas and your state asks questions over your state's rules and regulations, please be sure to review your state law and rule book to answer all the questions correctly. Number 25. Where does pre-arranged remote services need to be made? The answer is through a remote service business digital network. Number 26, where must all licenses be posted? The answer is at the licensee's workstation in the public view. Number 27, within how many days should you notify the department of a change of name or change of address? The answer is 30 days. Number 28. Where must the human trafficking sign be posted? The answer is in the public view in the workplace. Number 29. How many hours of continuing education is required to renew your license every two years? The answer is four hours. You must do four hours of continuing education every two years to renew your license. Number 30. How long should the licensee, meaning you, keep the certificate of completion of your continuing education hours for? The answer is, you must keep record of it for at least two years. Number 31. If an establishment changes ownership, the new owner has how many days to apply for a new license? The answer is 30 days. Number 32. When should inspections be performed? The answer is 
during normal business hours. Number 33, how often are periodic inspections done? The answer is at least once every two years, unless a report for an investigation has been made, then it can be done before. Number 34, how often do you renew your license? Remember, this is for the state of Texas. You must renew your license every two years. Number 35, what can cause to get your license revoked? The answer is you engage in gross malpractice and fraud, practice or attempts to practice under another person's name or trade name. Continue to practice while having an infectious or contagious disease. Knowingly makes false or deceptive statements in advertisements. And that is it for this study guide. I hope you are finding all of this information helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And hey, let's keep going. Let's keep growing. If you found the information helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to do so. And I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.